Hello, my friends. John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at Libertalia, Winds of Galecrest. All right, let's see what's inside this guy. Okay, folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to build my fan base. All right, so it looks like I've got printing number 8034, which is cool. On the back of the box, I love the fact that I can see the whole game set up like that. That's outstanding. Tells me the components, also good. Everything you need to know, so that's good news. Front of the box, you see this artwork. It's indicative of the contents inside, I think. At least that's what people seem to say. Now, there's a lot of people who have played the first edition and have comparisons. I have not played the first edition of this uh, game. I was playing solo games by the time that thing hit the, hit the shelves, and I never really got a chance to play it. So I picked this one up because it does allow me to play solo, which is cool. All right, so we come to our rule book here. Has that same Stonemeyer game feel of all the rule books that we've seen since Wingspan onward. All right, and there you go. Looks like brightly colored and illustrated setup page, the gameplay here, reputation, and that's it. Really pretty quick. Then we have how to play the Automa. So the Automa tells you what the Automa components are. And then we've got some general rules, the setup, some solo card explanation. How the gameplay works. With some examples. And then the end. So, and then a couple of different uh, levels here as far as how to play and what to do scale-wise. So that's good. Components, here we go. So we looks like we've got... It's a medium thickness in the cardboard, and there's the, uh, you know, that, that tile you put down for the two-player game. All right, and then we have some of these different abilities for things. I think this is the graveyard. These are the treasure chests you're going to construct to keep track of your score. All right, similar on that tile as well. Okay, so the components look fine. The artwork is bright. Um, again, a lot of people had an issue. They like the other artwork. I don't really mind this kind of style. It's okay. I could take it or leave it. But I do like the bright board. I do like the tropical looking um, setting here that you get from, uh, from this. I don't know how the original looked, but this is nice. And you have two sides, which I think is also cool. A side that's more confrontational, which is this one, the stormy one. And a side that is, you know, calmer, I guess you could say. All right, then we have our insert here. Opening the insert up. We have the heavy uh, plastic pieces here. These are like, this resin kind of reminds me of the same kind of feel that you have with the tiles from... Um, Oh, uh, what's it called? Azul. Azul, that's what it feels like here. So we've got some nice colors. Very easy to read, screen printed and such. They look pretty fun. So we've got those. We've got large wooden um, octagons here for the different player initiatives. We've got these little guys, which I'm sure are to put together. The wheels. This looks like a uh, holder of tokens, probably not these. Those are go to the bag. Maybe it's for these, we'll find out. Here's a cloth bag, good quality there, easy to reach in. And then we have the cards, all right? So you can see we have uh, four different decks here. And I'm gonna guess this is some player aids and maybe the solo stuff. I know that the cards are identical, there's four Sorry, it should be six decks, right? Because this is a one to six player game. Um, should be six sets of identical cards. So I'll just open up one or two of them because they'll all be the same. We'll take a look at the card quality. We'll take a look at the artwork here. See what you got. Okay. So here's our player aid here. We have one of those. And then we start with the different cards that come in the game. So there's the scout um i'm guessing so at the back of these what is this always the same no so something that must be the the ai deck i'm guessing yeah this is probably the ai deck so scout apprentice beggar innkeeper cabin boy etc 
Yeah, I would say that the artwork isn't the most catching, I'd say. It looks a little, I mean, everything is kind of that cartoonesque look to it, which is okay, but it's also kind of like a lo-fi. It's not like it's bad quality. It's just, I could see what people are saying, you know. Sort of reminds you of like the Legends of Zelda Wind Walker or something um, kind of style, which is fine. I mean, that's the cell shading that they're going for here. But the good news is, is that you do see all of the, um, you know, text down there is pretty easy to read. Everything looks very functional. All right, yeah, so this is definitely all the way through that AI deck. And I'm su sure on the back, this is kind of how you would do the different actions there. Okay, so then we have the same cards, probably similar, but maybe just a smidge different because I can tell there's, you, know, you have, you don't have that other thing on the bottom there. Um, as far as the artwork and such, these are going to be in the six different player hands. The quality is good. I'm going to sleeve mine, um, of course, but the, you can tell there's a texture on these. They're uh, decent size thickness, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Overall, I like the look of the game. I'm very excited to get it to the table and give it a try, and I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you very much. Hopefully, whatever you play in the future, you have a great time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.